All right, you've seen these in the store, and they say they burn up to three hours, up to various variation fire fireplaces, climatic conditions, made duration of burn or whatever. So anyways, I'm going to do something with it. It's pretty soft, you know? I want to cut this thing into uh, individual... Let's try this first. Uh, fire, fire starters. Can I cut it with this? Is it going to fall apart? Is it going to crumble? Pretty much. Can I mold it into pieces? Pretty much. It's, I don't know, it smells like sawdust. That's a pretty big fire starter. That thing will probably burn for 20 minutes. But how big do you need them? I would say about this big and just keep needing it. Or if you need one, just break a piece off. I think that would work too. Eh. Let me clean my hands up. Um, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a bunch of them. I'm going to put them in a container. And, well, I thought about using a saw, but I have too much stuff. Let's see if I can cut it. It would probably cut easier than just slicing it. If I use a saw, I'm going to have a bunch of dust. See, that works. If you push it back together. Yeah, I think that works a little bit better. Maybe four parts, huh? You could, you could probably cut these dang things so small, you could probably make one. I'm going to make a tiny one. We'll make one this big. We're going to see how long this one burns. Put that there. We'll make one a little bit bigger. Well, I mean, you could just adjust. I could probably make a bunch of little ones. About this size. About a meatball size, huh? Well, some meatballs are this big, but... All right, I'll get back with you when I'm all done. All right, what I did is I just cut half of it and I molded it in the balls, but... Then I just broke it all down, and I'll take a handful out of here and squeeze it together and make a... I think it was easier doing it this way, so I'll make all the rest of them like this. Now that that's done, I got 68 of them. I could have, you know, made two or three out of this one, but I I, I just wanted to, to see... I'm, I'm not good at meatball maker, so don't criticize my work here. Uh, I just wanted to try this out for stupid fun. And I'm going to burn this one and see how long it takes. And we can pretty much judge that this one will probably take four or five times as long. So, And then I'm going to keep one out and see if it'll dry out while I put the other ones in some kind of airtight container. So let's get over there and burn this sucker after I clean up. I got both of them here. So let's start the timer and light these up. How easy are they to light? They're well, not too easy to light. Huh, look at that. Look at that, it's trying to. Hmm. There it is, finally. Looks like this one. Takes a little bit, you know? Come on. Jeez. It's like it has to warm up. It's getting there. Your finger will probably end up burning from the lighter being so darn hot. Come on. There you go. No. For Pete's sake. For the sake of Pete. No, they, that one blew out. They both blew. Ow, that is hot. <sighs> Let me get a torch. All right, if you have to resort to this, it's pretty much a fail. Get it. 
Is it going to burn? If, it, if it's windy out, if it's windy out, it ain't going to burn at all. But we'll see how long. All right, I started the timer. I think if, 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 if it gets started... I mean, I could have molded those into like long sticks, like a long tube or something. It'll probably burn easier. I don't know. I'm just trying something here. So um, we'll see how long the sucker goes. All right, I had to relight that one. Kept going out. This one's doing okay. And it's only been, what, you know, a minute and a half. So I think they're finally going. It's been 11 and a half minutes. And this, this thing isn't even burning on this side, but it's starting to rain, so it'll probably go out. But that's plenty of time to light a fire. If, but if you have this, you can just use this. I'm just saying, it. if you're cheap and want to, don't want to buy a fire starter or something, I'd rather just buy fire starters. It's a lot easier to carry around and everything. But you can put, put these in a bag. And you're probably wondering how I got that stuff off. It was like an oil and wax. I used WD-40 and then laundry soap. It takes it right off, regular soap. But you fight chemicals with chemicals. It came real clean. Um, yeah, that would. This is plenty of time to start a fire with one of these little dang things. That looks like it might be going out, probably because of the rain. So, anywho, kind of a fail. I don't know.